All right, this is a demonstration uh, video for the Flight Data Systems GT50 G meter. The uh, unit is a two and a quarter inch instrument. That means it fits into a two and a quarter inch round hole in your instrument panel. Uh, it's about uh, three quarters of an inch thick. It's enclosed in a single milled piece of aluminum and uh, it's anodized and the writing is laser etched into the anodization so it can never fall off. When you uh, power it up, it powers up in the G meter mode, which is what we're looking at here. And uh, you can see it working. If you put it on its side, it uh, reads zero G's. And if you were to fly upside down, it would read minus one G's. And uh, you can also look at the maximum and minimum G's by pressing the mode and the max G is there 1.5, see the max in the upper left hand corner. And the minimum G is minus 2. And then when you push it again, it goes back into the active uh, G meter mode that you normally use. Those numbers are saved in memory even if uh, battery power is removed from the G meter. The other modes it has are a clock mode, which can be viewed in 12 or 24 hours. This is a uh, 24 hour mode showing 4 minutes after midnight. Also has a stopwatch, start, stop, reset. It also has a lap timer if you were ju just to push uh, the action button while it's running. Uh, the voltmeter, it's flashing here because it gives you a low voltage warning anytime your master switch is on and the voltage drops below a certain level that would be generated by your alternator. You can cancel this so that it won't do that um, once you've acknowledged the warning. Here's the flight timer. This, this runs anytime your master switch is on. I have a little simulated master switch here. If you turn your master switch off, uh, the backlight goes off to preserve your battery and the automatic flight timer quits running. Once your master switch is back on, it starts running again. You can tell this by the flashing uh, colon in the middle. Uh, once you want to reset this, you just press the reset and it can and it will start over at zero. It also has a uh, temperature indication. This can be in Celsius or Fahrenheit at the user setup. And then back to the G meter. And those are the six modes of operation of the flight data systems uh, G meter.